What's up? How are you guys? It's been a while since our last health and nutrition Q&A, so I am a little excited to answer your questions. If you guys missed it, maybe once a month we post on the community page and then you guys can just leave uh, whatever inquiries you would like. But let's get started. Pavel Dan, have you tried supplementing taurine? Should help with liver damage and mineral balance. I tried that maybe a few years ago, didn't notice much of a difference. Uh, usually, if you're deficient in something, taking it initially will make you feel better, but you know, taurine is one of so many amino acids, it's, it's hard to argue that if you isolated any other one, you would feel the same initially, and then as you continue taking it, there's no real benefit because you just fixed an initial deficiency. Ibramagic, I wish you could make an in-depth video about losing fat, like on every aspect, mentally, physically, also any self-improvement. Uh, maybe we could do that next week, uh, something like three or four steps to lose fat. VT, hello Frank, you mentioned the reason carbs are needed and their quality. My question is, should we be concerned about triglycerides and diglycerides? For reference, a moderate amount of potatoes and sourdough bread baguette croissant, occasionally fruits and some Frank approved veggies, thanks. I'm not sure if you're talking about like triglycerides as in your blood work or uh, having a higher fat content in the meal. Uh, on my diet, I do restrict the fat content and a perfectly healthy person can have like a higher fat, higher carb meal, but someone like myself, you're usually going to cause dysbiosis and uh, some candida overgrowth. So you do have to be careful depending on your current health status. Barry McCock, <laughs> almost got me on that one, Barry. Almost got me on that one. Are you friends with uh, Mike Hawk as well or uh, Anita? <laughs> Will you ever make your own drinkable powder mixture for on the go? You know, I thought about an electrolyte mix, but I'm just not a fan of synthetic derived electrolytes unless it's in small amounts. We do have Flextrose, which is a glucose supplement, and in the past I was considering doing different flavors for Flextrose, so we could still probably do that. But uh, the pre-workout never happened either. Uh, because all pre-workouts are high in nitrates, which are bad for your kidneys. So from a moral perspective, I didn't really want to do it, but that's what all these other companies are doing, destroying people's kidneys. Maya Papaya, do you still do individual consultations? How much sugar should I add to my kefir when it comes flat? Have you looked into slaughterhouses in Jefferson Lewis County? There's a lot of farms and slaughterhouses and farms from, all right. Uh, so that's a few questions. The water kefir, if you just add like a tablespoon to one bottle, it should fizz up and then you close it and then the next day it should be carbonated again. I've been looking for meat processing plants for a few years now. One deal fell through two years ago because I didn't have the capital. Uh, I could have probably got the guy to sell or finance, but um, I wasn't ready maybe at that specific time, but a few months later and ever since then, I really, really need it. Uh, relocating right now with our Amish farmers in Pennsylvania. Now we kind of have to stay in the PA New York area, but Stephanie Rogers, I have a friend who's a recovering bulimic. She does low carb, but recently gained a lot of weight, 170 pounds, 5'8". Do you have any idea of what diet to remove weight and keep nutrients in? Thank you so much for your videos. I've been a long time follower for years. Uh, you should definitely watch my recent day of eatings and kind of the steak and potato protocol that I've been doing because this diet that I'm following, as well as the other lifestyle factors like wearing EMF protective clothing, grounding, resistance training, that's how you become as healthy as possible. It's basically like a cookie cutter template for what you should be doing. You know, it, it's a natural diet that most groups of people have followed, a balanced amount of meat and grains and small amounts of fruit and veggies here and there. Corey Jane, after following the Candida Cure protocol of water kefir masticum, organic lean meat, white potato, peeled apple for two to three weeks, what would the next food sources you deem okay incorporating? Sourdough bread, oats, udon noodles. Those carbohydrates are actually okay to incorporate from the get-go. It's just you have to be careful of not deviating from the acceptable carbohydrates. Uh, so basically anything that I've been eating for the most part is usually okay. And I feel better on sourdough bread than I do on potatoes because, you know, potatoes are kind of high in potassium. You can retain a little bit of water depending on your liver and kidney function. Isaac. 
Are you able to sell dehydrated water kefir grains or ship out the kefir grains containing sugar and water for international customers? I tried ordering your kefir grains several times overseas, but they would always arrive dead and wouldn't grow. I've tried making kefir using local grains, but I haven't noticed benefits from using their grains to make kefir. If it arrives within two weeks, you know, or a week, the grains are definitely still alive. Uh, I don't know if I can dehydrate them, but I, I can, I mean, we do feed them right before we ship them out. So as long as they arrive within a week or two, then the issue would be maybe they're getting overheated uh, on the plane or whenever they're shipping over. And the guitar guy guy, any advice I'm recovering from a dislocated shoulder, torn labrum, had an injury from wrestling and want to heal as quick as possible without surgery. Uh, so most people are not wearing EMF protective clothing, which is important for overall cell and tissue health, especially recovery. And, and you just have to make sure you're doing the, the right corrective exercises without aggravating the injury or making it worse. And of course, getting as much sleep as you can, which the EMF protection will help with. Uh, Brun, rice, potatoes, sourdough bread, tortillas, noodles. Can you put these in order from best to worst in terms of healthiest starch source? So sourdough bread is fermented. So compared to anything made with just white flour that is not fermented, you know, sourdough has the, the lower anti-nutrient content and it is easier on digestion. Rice, potatoes, we went over the arsenic and rice concern. So rice shouldn't really even be on this list. Potatoes are always good because they're a good source of minerals and they're balanced. And the noodles, as long as they're like specifically the type of udon noodles that I eat, they're usually okay. But for me, I usually feel the best on sourdough out of all those carbs. Dean, I'm wondering if glyphosate is a concern for you with wheat and what other problems are there with wheat? Uh, we did a video. Uh, gluten is not the problem. I forgot what I titled it, but just search Frank Tofano gluten. I think it was why gluten is good. And, and we explained that the real problem with wheat is glyphosate, not the gluten content. Yes, I'm hacking. Is high quality chicken and pork even worth consuming when you take into account the omega-6 content of the meat? Also, is there a chance we can get the old vegan critique video? That one was hilarious. Uh, I don't know if that got taken down or something, but uh, chicken, I'm not as much of a fan of because it's hard to get really high quality. I do eat a lot of Iberico pork, which has a, per which has a great omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, so that is not a concern. But, you know, for the price point and what most people have access to, grass-fed or organic beef is the safe bet. Uh, Terran Tor, any tips, supplements for growing long hair? Been binging your old videos on hair to gather any tips. I mean, my hair grows pretty fast. My nails grow pretty fast. You know, I have the balanced diet. With the probiotics, I do have the collagen broth and beef stock every day. So as long as you have you know, enough animal nutrition and you're sleeping well and um, the diet's healthy on your liver, you should be good. So just same answer that I'm saying for a lot of these questions. You kind of have to follow my current dietary protocol regimen. YZETC, Frank, what do you think about these vegans claiming their bodybuilding and building muscle on that kind of diet? I mean, these people are liars. They're all taking large amounts of synthetic testosterone. They're just blasting incredibly high amounts of performance enhancing drugs and they will not tell you. Uh, that, that's a big secret of like the elite and stuff, but I think there's a question later where we'll go more in depth on that. Ryan D. Lyon has a long one. Yeah, I've been looking into a lot of alkaline and plant-based stuff lately and I think what I've surmised from it is that people are getting healing benefits because they're starving parasites are able to heal the gut by getting rid of anything that inflames it. It could be other things as well. I'm sure it is, but I'm just wondering if you think it's possible to have these same healing effects by still including high quality animal products in your diet. I almost wonder if you would be at your healing goals by now if you would have done a juice fast or an alkaline diet of sorts one probably doesn't have to do it forever. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. I also think it helps kill fungus, which cancer most likely is, and it could still be that plant-based for the first year or two supplying them nutrition that their body needed. They were not getting enough of uh, We did a video on Dr. Sebi and the alkaline non sense if you want a full explanation on that but these people do not have parasites they are not starving them the only reason they might hypothetically feel better is because maybe they've removed the toxins and the junk food that they've always been eating and the, the high amount of flavonoids and anti-nutrients carotenes and oxalates can kind of cause an immune reaction in people which uh, they translate to actually feeling good and invigorated compared to how they usually feel sonnet blue what are the reasons for multiple waking up during sleep and what to do about it could be Wi-Fi EMF if you're not sleeping in a Faraday cage. Uh, if you're waking up to use the bathroom, that's a bladder issue. Uh, those are the only two things that you should be waking up for. Jacob M, can you make a video on how to make organic sauerkraut juice for probiotics? Well, it's just the sauerkraut recipe and then you take the juice and you can drink it. 
Uh, maybe if you add a little bit of water to it, that can help. The only thing is just be careful about the amount of salt you add to it to make sure that the, the juice is not too salty. Usually to have sauerkraut juice to drink, you'd be making a very large amount of sauerkraut. Sunflower, what should I consume if trying to get pregnant and during pregnancy, especially to prevent horrible morning sickness issues? I think we've done videos on, on pregnant women and breast milk and what they should be eating, but you want to have a balanced amount of nutrients. Uh, to give you a simple answer, you probably want to supplement vitamin K2, get outside and get plenty of sun, and then there's a bunch of different mineral supplements you might need as well as B vitamins. So definitely search my recent supplement videos and my supplement protocols and look at my hair mineral analysis video uh, because you probably need almost everything uh, in your diet, especially if you're already pregnant because typically you need to prepare for two or three years to be healthy, healthy peak to have a child. Boda. Once you've healed your liver, what will your diet look like? And what are you detoxing from your liver exactly? I thought you took care of that by donating blood. Are you going to continue this diet forever? What's going to change when you heal fully? That's hard to say because it's still years and years away potentially. You know, even when my liver is fully healed, then it's gonna be another few years of being on this diet and having a healthy liver and letting all the cells turn over and, and have healthy overall cellular health. Uh, we did a video recently on our health update where we explained like how long does it take to heal. That's a very good video to answer your question. Uh, GFDDGH, he said grounding doesn't work in some places because of high EMF, but I noticed even in places of high EMF when I test using a multimeter, grounding still lowers my voltage. That's very subjective depending on the area. Um, if it is high enough EMF in the area, your voltage will increase. So uh, you got to be somewhat careful. Run again, do you think mac and cheese is still good to eat? Also, what's the best healthy cereal in your opinion? Any sort of like really high dairy, high egg food, when you take in that much vitamin A, it's kind of hard to get a corresponding amount of vitamin D. So most people need to catch up more on the, on the contrasting fat-soluble vitamins. Uh, GFDDGH, another question. Opinion on fermented vegetables like sauerkraut and pickles. I don't think they really have a considerable enough uh, probiotic content to make a big difference from that perspective, but they do taste good and they are part of you know feeding a healthy gut microbiome. And as you said that three ounces per meal of protein is ideal for detoxing the liver to reduce the stress of protein digestion. And I really want to stick with your diet to detox my liver to try to fix issues I'm having. However, I'm 6'1", 165 pounds, very low body fat, and I swim around three to four miles per day and doing core strengthening exercises every day. So should I still stick with that three ounces per meal or should I increase meat consumption because of my height, weight, physical activity? I mean, I'm like the same weight as you and I'm about half a foot shorter uh, and I'm okay with this amount of protein. Uh, I would say as long as it's not really more than a pound of protein per day, you should be good to go. And sometimes drinking water kefir and taking B vitamins can really help alleviate uh, the demand for protein. So your diet might be missing some other stuff if you know, you're finding that you have to eat a lot more meat every meal. Christian F, would love some more grape water kefir. What if you use grape juice so your guys don't have to squeeze all those grapes? <laughs> I remember that. I bought like a few cases of grapes and we were like putting the grapes individually in the juicer. It was a nightmare. Um, maybe I'll, I'll like go to Whole Foods and I'll get some grape juice. The reason we were doing that is because it's hard to find raw juices, but the purpose of putting the juice in the kefir is just to give it some flavor. So. I'll go, I'll go get some juices from Whole Foods maybe, but they are expensive. Uh, Anna, thoughts on recent trend using Ozempic or other medications like it for weight loss? We could go into the NCBI studies and look at the mechanisms of each individual drug, but the point is you should not be taking them and there's long-term solutions that'll make you much, much healthier. You know, you don't want to sacrifice um, your organ function or brain function, whatever these drugs are doing, even your nervous system. You don't want to damage yourself short term uh, to have some temporary weight loss because then down the line you're going to have some severe health issues from those pharmaceutical drugs. Androcles, what in your opinion is the optimal amount of protein per pound of body weight for bodybuilding? It's to appetite. So it de really depends on how much lean body mass you have, but 
I mean, this is outside of performance enhancing drugs and outside of steroids, but even like the most muscular natural bodybuilder, I don't think you would ever really want to exceed a pound and a half to two pounds of red meat per day. The body cannot use that much protein. You can't even digest it. Emmy Benoit, Benoit. What do you think a baby's first food should be? Breast milk, two, three, four years. That's always been my answer. Uh, we did a video a little while ago. I think it's top five foods for children. And, and meat, AKA beef steak is always a safe choice. The safest overall choice. Man, we got so many questions. <laughs> Rashad Westbrook, what do you think of Utka or Tutka for enhancing the digestive system? Are they better than ox bile? I, I think Tutka like, kind of temporarily shuts down your liver. I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it's, uh, it's good for long-term liver recovery. Heather, does having ferritin under 30 by donating every now and then really help liver function? It does, um, but like my ferritin stopped going high as my liver got better. So initially my liver was accumulating iron. You know, my ferritin would go above 30 every few months, but now for the most part, it stays below 30. So you should donate and fix your diet until the point that the ferritin is not getting elevated. Spiral B, have you considered selling the organic bean dip you make on Frankie's Ranch Foods? Yeah, we have a lot of products that I like to do uh, for food prep and stuff. Maybe that'll start happening towards the end of this year on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Elijah, I have poor gut health and I'm going to start incorporating your water kefir flavors into my diet. After the kefir is delivered, usually it takes a few days to arrive. Would it then last seven days inside my fridge and still be beneficial from a probiotic standpoint? Yeah, so after you get our water kefir, just put it in the fridge uh, to let the gases calm down and then you can open it up. And you'll know how you feel. It should be carbonated and should be fizzy and make you feel good. In the fridge, it'll last a week or two. Nibis, what's your thoughts on fixing your eyesight with eyesight exercises and also your take on mewing? These things possible at all and possible past age 25? I mean, I had LASIK eye surgery and double jaw surgery, so, uh, you know, there's only so much you can do after developmental stages. I would say that the eyesight stuff, I haven't really looked into it much. There's not that much concrete evidence. Like, obviously, like, if you start doing eye training exercises, you can improve your vision slightly, but to what degree? And the mewing stuff will fix your tongue posture, but actual physical appearance-wise, it's not going to make much of a difference unless it's done you know, when the child's younger and developing their face. Hog Fin Han, can you please make an in-depth video about Botox? I and a few of my friends are considering getting it. Thank you. I haven't looked too much into it. You know, if you're on a healthy diet and you're aging okay, I can't imagine that using a very small amount of filler in certain parts is going to be that bad. Um, but I think there's all different types of new fillers now that they have, so... Uh, maybe that deserves its own dedicated video. Neo, is it okay to consume organic coconut aminos every day? My coconut aminos contains a higher quality New Zealand sea salt. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You could always just try not having it for a few days and see if you notice a difference. Jasmine, can you use plastic bottled mineral water for water kefir? Yeah, but you, you, know, you have the concerns about the plastic, so it's not ideal. You're better off going to a local well. You don't know if that plastic was heated during transport. You know, having water in a plastic vessel temporarily or if it's not heated or there's no sunlight going through it is okay, but chances are that did happen at some point in the transportation of the water. Danny, should I take both magnesium spray and capsules? You can, but just keep in mind if you're not sleeping well or you have insomnia, then you want to remove all supplements and figure out what's causing it. A good guy, if you follow your protocol, how long should it take to heal something like psoriasis, eczema, etc.? Depends on how much sun you're getting and how poor your health is. It could be a few weeks, it could be a few months, but something like that type of skin disorder should not take more than several months to clear up. Uh, Cy Monster, would you join the secret club if you had the opportunity? What if it was before all the shit that happened? That, that's the big thing, you know, af after I see how these people treated me personally, despite how they treat the world as a whole, it's hard to say yes. It's hard to say yes, you know. <laughs> you know, if someone basically makes you miserable and ruins kind of everything uh, in your life, and then you see that they also make everyone else unhappy and miserable, 
anyone with a moral perspective would not join this secret club. Um, that, that's why they have these tests when you join them, when you're like an initiate. They're kind of gauging how much you're willing to put up with and, and how much care you actually have uh, for other people. And to my understanding, you have to be like a psychopath or sociopath or uh, not a good person. There, there's a quote I like, you know, when you're making a decision about something, it's very easy to know what the right and what the wrong thing to do is. It's plain as day, simple as that, but people always have biases and personal interests and things usually revolving around money or some type of reward for themselves that cloud their judgment. A slide for Larry. Have you heard of the 12 cell salts and do you take them? Yeah, that sounds like a gimmick someone came up with to talk about minerals. We have several different videos on minerals, uh, more than that, if you want to watch them and, and learn what you should actually be doing for mineral supplementation. A. Postpartum nutrition, lifestyle, and how to reverse issues that a lot of women get postpartum. Thyroid issues, brain fog, PB. It's my diet. You know, the protocol that I've been doing for the past several years, all of these different uh, elements of lifestyle that I talk about, if you're not following my current diet, that's the very first step. Then there's maybe some subjective things here and there, like taking glandulars, doing masticum, probiotic. There's specific things that might be more important for your circumstances, but overall, if people follow my protocol, usually things clear up. Google, do you know if vitamin E can be absorbed through the skin with a vitamin E oil? Are goitrogens and sauerkraut a concern? Thank you. Vitamin E, to my understanding, uh, is kind of oxidized and I haven't noticed any benefits taking wheat germ oil so I'm fairly convinced it should not be supplemented and sauerkraut anti-nutrients not really a concern. Marisam Dean, Marisam Dean, is laser hair removal safe for the body? Uh, so I actually had this done on my face some years ago because I couldn't grow a beard so I was like sick of shaving I figured it would only be a little bit and then the hair would go away. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's really that safe because it does cause a lot of uh, cell and tissue damage and uh, the laser can be really really potent so um, I mean look if you're a girl and you have a light amount of body hair in certain places yeah it's okay to do laser hair removal but I would not do it on your face or, or a more sensitive part of your body. Gebra GH how would you prevent waking up early in the morning from high cortisol due to excess carbs? What we said earlier about the sleeping stuff, uh, I would do some radiation protection, some EMF stuff, sleeping in a Faraday cage and see if it's actually the high cortisol waking you up. Frugi Gebrizgi, is beef tallow good for your skin or overhyped? What skincare products would you recommend if I can't get access to your products? And what's your opinion on using a retinoid? So I'm not really a big believer in topical skincare stuff unless it has a mineral or like a certain vitamins in it that might be okay. It's more about your diet, what you're eating, making sure you're hydrated, making sure you're getting plenty of high quality protein and amino acids, and more importantly, getting some sun, a lot of vitamin D uh, exposure on your skin. Retinoids are caustic, so they like actually burn your skin, would never use them or recommend them. Brun, can you please make the sourdough bread recipe video? Yeah, we did. I think um, these questions were from about a month ago, so that was when around we did post the sourdough recipe video. Chabibi8, what can I do about chronic constipation? Only going once a week and very painful. Has been going on for two years. What my food looks like in a typical week is salmon, avocado, lots of olive oil, white rice, a lot of Middle Eastern dishes, spinach, zucchini, okra, all with tomato base and rice and red meat, some sourdough pasta and some dairy, mostly cottage cheese and chocolate milk. I also eat organic fruits and veggies. Thyroid function, blood work is normal. Uh, sounds like you don't have enough fiber and whole grains in the diet and you might not be hydrated. So what I would do is uh, reduce the fat intake and have some beans in here and there. Uh, but I mean, if you just watch my recent day of eatings and, and can kind of do something a little stricter for a few days, you'll probably feel a lot better. Also definitely make sure you're hydrating if you are constipated. Randall Oland, how much raw liver can someone eat in a day or a week without overloading his with iron? Can it be eaten with every meal or just for dinner? Also, do you think the Accutane treatments you took may have also affected your liver? Maybe you have too much vitamin A stored in your liver. It's hard to, to justify organ meats in some cases because they're really concentrated in nutrients and not necessarily balanced. And also stuff like shellfish or things like that are also really polluted. You know, and the livers of certain animals can accumulate toxins and be polluted. Sarmega, what is a good source of protein to eat while working out? 
We do have the grass-fed whey protein on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Personally, I just like having steak and like animal sources of protein before or after the workout. I just prefer to have a normal meal. Victoria Ulrey, hey, your antibiotics dangerous for health because my dermatologist advised me to take some for my acne and I'm hesitating. Water kefir is a probiotic that will fix your gut balance overall. The reason your doctor is suggesting an antibiotic is because when you bomb out the gut bacteria and you just remove everything, it usually clears up your skin because the cause of acne is usually fungal overgrowth candida, but it's not a long-term solution because the candida is just going to come back. So either way, you're going to need a probiotic and there's also antimicrobials and different things you can take that are a little bit safer than antibiotics. But you could just look up stories. Most people who take antibiotics, they have to go back multiple times for different you know, rounds of the same stuff. And usually they get stronger and stronger and eventually their gut bacteria is even worse off than it started. Anna, what can you do to prevent high levels of insulin after eating refined carbs and sugar? In a healthy gut microbiome, are carbs converted into B vitamins? Does an unhealthy gut microbiome increase insulin levels from eating carbs and sugar? I mean, you know, I'm eating oats with honey for breakfast. I'm eating you know, sourdough bread with stew for lunch. I'm eating a lot of udon noodles for dinner. I'm eating a lot of carbohydrates. And as long as you have a healthy gut with adequate probiotics and you're taking enough B vitamins, you're gonna be fine uh, with eating carbs. I mean, if you're having like super high sugar and fat meals, that's a different story. That can be a little more difficult. John Sergi, can you tell me all the protocols that will prevent you from gaining fat from excess carbs? Uh, reducing the Wi-Fi EMF, wearing radiation protective clothing. Uh, making sure all the food is high quality and organic, uh, making sure you're not deficient in any minerals or B vitamins, and also resistance training. Sunflower, what should someone consume if they don't have a gallbladder? Um, probably the same diet as mine should be fine. Uh, you'll just have to be more mindful if you go out to cheat or, or have higher fat foods on occasion. GFDDGH, how to test know if the glass bottle mineral water you're buying is good in low in halogens? You can contact the company and they perform testing on the water. Or you're going to have to test it yourself or find a different brand of water that does do testing. Priscon, my budget as a student is quite small. What are the foods I should prioritize? We did a video on this recently, like, like foods to buy on a budget, which was basically just like ground meat and potatoes. If you want to check out that video. Jasper, 45, do you make the water kefir grains? Yes, they multiply themselves when we make the water kefir. Cameron James, my incorporate raw organic coconut aminos with my meal of lean and starch alongside mastic. My stool is much better. If I only do mastic, I'm in the same meal without coconut aminos, the stool is worse. Are the amino acids or small amount of probiotics helping? It's probably that the coconut aminos makes the food more palatable and you eat more of it. So maybe you want to reduce the amount of mastic gum. Jason Jones, someone that has an unhealthy gut, does your water kefir help one be less susceptible to diarrhea from consuming foods like garlic, onion, cauliflower? Over time, once one has stuck to minimally inflammatory protocol of lean starch and meat with water kefir, will they be able to tolerate other foods due to rebalancing the gut with kefir? Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have diarrhea if you haven't balanced things back out yet or if you overdo something. So if you're following like a really strict dietary protocol, and you're still having diarrhea, then you need to incorporate more probiotics or the probiotics aren't made correctly. For Weenie Gebrezgi again. Can you explain the reason why I don't sleep well when I go to the gym apart from the high radiation? Yeah, honestly, even if you're at the gym and you go home and go to sleep, if you have a Faraday cage, the, there might be some like radiation and EMF turnover from the gym. so. Maybe just try working out earlier in the day. That guitar guy guy. Why don't you use baby oil to accelerate your tan when you tan outside? I mean, first of all, doesn't baby oil have like processed synthetic oils in it and it's not something you wanna put on your skin every day and you don't really need to accelerate the tan if the UV index is high. Christian F, thoughts on magnesium taurine? Wouldn't it be magnesium taurine? I don't know, I mean, I use glycinate, it's a more popular supplement. The different chelations for the most part aren't usually a concern as long as it's bound to an amino acid. GFDDGH, is it better to have multiple sources of probiotics? For example, you have water kefir pickle, cheese and sauerkraut. There's a big difference in potency between an active 
culture like water kefir and something like uh, lacto fermented like sauerkraut. So the water kefir is substantially more important. Sarath S. What are your opinions on orthorexia? That's where people don't eat, right? I mean, if you're on a high quality diet and you're eating all organic foods and exercising and resistance training, you're going to look better than you will starving yourself or on any diet. The problem is, you know, people have this idea ingrained in their head that eating calories is going to make you gain weight. So it's kind of hard to overcome a lot of the, you know, the modern conventional wisdom for most people, no matter what you tell them. Sonnet Blue, thoughts on raw grain fed milk? I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of dairy in general for people with certain health issues. Hopefully we, uh, we get the farm soon and we can try some hypoallergenic dairy. But whether the milk is grain fed or grass fed, if it's organic grain, it should be okay. Augusto Joaquin Rodriguez, how can one achieve optimal eye health? So my current diet is to detox my liver. So, you know, if your liver isn't detox and you're not overall healthy, you know, from a cellular perspective, that's the priority. For optimal eye health, you know, obviously you don't want to be staring at a computer screen all day. I would say going outside at least once a day, going for a hike, walking in the woods, looking at things like far away is very important for eye health. Holistic John, dietary suggestions for jock itch. Uh, I would get some iodine from organ supplements and uh, maybe use that to see if it helps go away. Could be a fungal thing, so you'd want probiotics, water kefir for sure. That guitar guy guy. Are the elite and globalists the same thing? Is this that question that I was going to talk more about the elite stuff on? Maybe. There's a lot of distractions and like things they come up with to distract from who the elite really are. Um, globalist is one of those distractions. Jessica Lingard, I am wanting to get braces soon. Should I see an orthotropics dentist to examine my facial structure prior to seeing an orthodontist? I mean, you want to get multiple consultations and figure out, okay, I do need braces, but do I also need double jaw surgery? You know, do I need any other stuff that might improve my facial appearance? Uh, GFDDGH, another question. Can you eat the vitamin D supplement on organ supplements? Yeah, it's transdermal as well as oral. Thomas Smith, Frankie, yo, how goes it? My name is Thomas. I subscribed to your channel after I watched one of your videos on fruitarians, horrifying stuff. I was wondering personally, if you do stuff like diet planning with people, you know, not like just weight loss diet, I'm 6'3", 175. I'm trying to get to 200. Uh, I have a 4% BFP. Sometimes I get up to 185, but then I drop back down to 175. Just hoping you give some advice on foods that will make some fat stick and muscle also without the sun weight loss. I think I have videos in the past on how to gain weight and how to lose weight that you can check out how to gain muscle, how to lose weight. Just search Frank Tefano and those things. Jackson Griffin, why is the arsenic in rice not bad for you? Even the Lundberg brand has it. It is bad for you. We did, a, maybe this was asked before we did the video on arsenic and rice. Brandon, ever consider SEO optimization for YouTube and TikTok? I have tools to do this for you for free because I believe in everything you do for our community of people trying to get help. I mean, I'm shadow banned and censored by the people that control these media platforms. So doing SEO or throwing more money at advertising doesn't really help too much. Wisp, is it okay to use refined coconut oil for cooking? I mean, that's what I use. As long as it's organic, it's not too bad. Justin Towers, your thoughts on the Mike Mentor training philosophy sound similar to what you used to preach. I mean, he does low volume stuff, doesn't he? Like once a week? I do that every day, so kind of different philosophies if you ask me. Perry John 00, estrogen and hormones in dairy versus soy. If you're eating a high quality organic product, dairy, whatever, it shouldn't matter. Uh, but I, I think soy in general, in most cases, should kind of be avoided um, regardless of what it is. Steven Jacobs, how much sugar should one put in second ferment kefir? Are we talking like three to five tablespoons for a proper, I mean, depends on the volume of water, but usually for the second ferment, you're adding like a quarter of the amount of sugar that you did in the first ferment. Momo 45, Frank, how to cure diabetes type 4A? I get pains everywhere when I eat things like boiled potatoes. I also have stage three lymphoma. That's not good. Um, I, I would jump on my protocol as soon as possible. Make sure to uh, have plenty of properly made water kefir and reduce the EMF substantially. 
with the Wi-Fi shielding stuff. QAnon, what foods decrease cortisol and increase serotonin? Number one for that would be a probiotic like water kefir. GFDDGH, how to get caviar for cheap? Can't order off Frankie. I mean, you guys ask the weirdest questions sometimes. How to get cheap caviar? Yeah, bro, how do I get cheap gold? Tell me how. I mean, if you go to some local fishmonger, maybe you can get some fish eggs or roe for cheap, but it's not gonna be legitimate caviar. This one person asked like 19 different questions in a paragraph. All right, Mayo, I'll answer one question for you. What do you think about Ray P diet? I think it's very disingenuous that they did not release his cause of death. Um, but, you know, I mean, me personally, as like a dietary guru, hey, if I drop dead of something, I want people to know what I died from so they can figure out whether my advice was good or not. So it's a little sketchy. It's a little unfortunate. You know, I, I mean, I think either way, it, you know, if they say, you know, he died of X, Y, Z, maybe they can improve on his protocol, but it's whatever. Nord Berthelsen, uric acid buildup and eye bags. Yeah, I mean, when your organs aren't functioning, like you're gonna have all sorts of negative things that can happen and you know, not sleep that well and have eye bags. Top gangster, do the elite really eat raw meat? Uh, well, most of the stuff they have access to that we don't is really high grade pharmaceutical hormones and stuff. So, you know, all these negatives and they poison the food supply, they poison the water supply, they do all of these things that disrupt our hormonal systems and our organ function. And they might even eat the same food in some cases, but they literally take very expensive laboratory pharmaceutical grade hormones every single day to counteract that. Brun, what's the healthiest way to cook potatoes? Probably just boiled in salted water. INTJ, what can you do if you urinate frequently throughout the night? Have tried most remedies. Uh, well, if you're not following my diet, I would definitely uh, do some, ke how do you say, Kegel, Kegeling exercises of uh, increasing the strength of the pelvic floor muscles. Justin Blaha, you don't have any t-shirts or hoodies? Yeah, that's long overdue, right? We should get some Frankie Strange meat merchandise. Eric Gitmar, is organic tapioca going to make my balls fall off? I was doing um, uh, dextrose derived from tapioca and tapioca starch in smoothies for a little while and I was getting really bad headaches and uh, actually liver pain so um, I, I think if you put a small amount in food as a thickener it's okay but I would not consume it frequently. Fresgi Mashisha, natural remedy for heavy sweating. If you do change your diet to something like mine that might change your overall metabolism where you won't sweat as much I mean, that's all I really have to say on that, but this, this video, guys, is so, so long. Um, obviously, I did not edit in the questions to put on the screen because that would have taken me like half of a day, uh, but uh, thank you guys for joining me. But you guys can go to frank if you would like to check out all of my businesses and support me. We have the meat and many high-quality animal products on Frankie's Strange Meat. We have water key for and a lot of things that I've mentioned throughout this video on Frankie's free range foods. Hey, if you want to make sourdough bread, we have sourdough starter and you can also check out organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's naturals. And you'll notice on those websites and my businesses, a lot of things that uh, we spoke about when we were answering some of these questions. And you can also, you know, go through my past YouTube videos. If you'd like to learn a lot more, we mentioned a lot of them throughout this as well. But as always, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.